Hey guys, we're gonna watch some fights from a local club, Kalmar Boxing Club. There was a diploma fight competition for our club versus some of the local clubs in the area. If you want to see the rest of this particular fight, stay tuned to the end of the video. But first, we're gonna look at all the fights that involve someone from my club, Oscar Sam's Boxing Club. So here we are inside the club. You see the ring. So we got one of our fighters here. So diploma boxing, if you don't know, it's for 15 and under. It's like amateur boxing, but without trying to knock out the opponent. There's no knockouts and um, you're supposed to just try and use good technique. So they, they judge everything from the footwork, the movement, the head movement, all that. I don't know exactly how the scoring works, but it's more based on points even than amateur. So you're trying to contain the, the level of contact. I'd say it's almost more just like sparring, but with judges. So it's like trying to judge a sparring session, which isn't always easy uh, because you're not going for the finish. And I guess maybe a better comparison would be something like an exhibition match which you see in boxing sometimes. Here we have our second match. These are a bit older fighters, taller. Ooh, that was a good counter. See, these guys have a bit more pop in their punches. And the pace is quite high. They always say that in amateur and these diploma fights that you should just put your foot on the gas pedal from the sound of the bell basically go forward and just start jabbing moving always punching always throwing something fainting don't stand f still and just wait to counter because it just looks bad for the judges even though I think a counter style is probably equally effective in a real boxing fight professional fight think of Floyd Mayweather for example but here you want to see someone putting the pressure. That person will often win, right? But these guys are kind of going at it. They're throwing. I'm just going to show a few more highlights from this fight before we move on to the next. So here we have the third fight, our guy here in red, and he's got some uh, style about, I mean he's keeping his chin in the air but he's going, he doesn't really stop, he's just throwing, 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 which is kind of fun to watch actually, I think they're warning like don't hit so hard, but I don't think he has that gear, you know. Uh, I find the hardest thing is to like know the exact percentage to throw with especially when sparring right because when you get hit your instinct is to throw back harder to intimidate the guy so he doesn't start pushing forward too much uh, and it can quickly escalate one thing I don't kind of like is how he's basically pulling his hands downwards instead of throwing straight through um, not really gonna do much damage with those punches those are a bit harder a bit too hard honestly but these guys are going at it the refs keeping a close eye so here we have the big match from Kalmar Club versus our club. Uh, these guys are kind of like the star boxers in their weight division from these two clubs. 
with Neo, the kid in the red, was, I would say, abnormally tall and long. His limbs, I mean, look at his legs. They're just very long, and he's got a wide stance. Knows how to use his reach. Peppering with the jab. It's hard to get in on the inside with him. And the only thing to do, kind of, is just bite down the mouthpiece, slip and rip, kind of style. Almost peekaboo style. There you go. So he's getting on the inside, getting some counters off, but he's got to watch that cross because it's coming over the top of his guard. And the jab's breaking right through the guard. Very annoying to fight someone like this, but I think he's doing a good job. He's keeping the pressure on him. Neo's backing up the entire time. He's keeping his hands low. So you can't see the punches coming. It's just one, two, one, two, one, two in succession. He's doing a good job pivoting. I think it's quite a fun fight to watch, actually. There was a different kind of tension in the air for this one because I think a lot of people have high hopes for him. And our fighter is the coach's son, so that makes it even more interesting. But he's getting tagged a lot here in the first round. Uh, it must be very frustrating. Here we have one of our fighters in a sparring session. Since he's over 15, obviously, he can't do these diploma fights anymore. So he's an amateur, but the sparring here is pretty much the same level as a diploma fight. So you get to see his skill level. 
He's the one in the black and white. This is another one of our amateur fighters, Emilio, in the black and white.
Now we have the final sparring session, which was two of the club's star amateur boxers. Really good guys going at it. Almost looked more like an exhibition fight, but there's no ref or anything, no judging. So you can see the difference in how these guys spar versus some of the younger guys. Myself included, not being that young, but they're throwing, they're not trying to pull back their punches too much. It's a different kind of pressure. If you've watched this far, thanks for watching and like, subscribe, comment, share, and see you in the next video.
Det är sista 